Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a good old fashioned outfit inspo kind of video. I haven't filmed one of these videos in so so long now that I thought it was about time that I just yeah, get a few outfits together, give you a bit of outfit inspo. If you feel like you're in a little bit of a rut at the moment with like your wardrobe or you're not really sure what pieces your wardrobe needs or you're just interested in some cool outfits for winter, then this is definitely the video for you. I know exactly that feeling when you go into your wardrobe and you're in a rush, you need to put something on and it's just that annoying feeling every morning of I just don't know what to wear so I'm hoping with this video I can give you a little bit of inspo I've tried to keep all of the pieces that I'm wearing really quite classic and a lot of the pieces you would definitely find in like a capsule wardrobe so I'm hoping that you'll be able to recreate at least one of these outfits with things that you already have in your wardrobe um, but if not it might open your eyes to maybe some bits that you need at the minute but anyway guys I'm going to jump straight into this video so I really hope you enjoy it please do remember just to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it that just tells me lets me gauge what kind of videos you guys like and then I can definitely make more of the videos that I know you like I also have the builders next door, so if you can hear drilling and sawing, sorry about that. But anyway, let's jump into the video. So for the first outfit, keeping it super simple, this is something that I love to do with my outfits and it's matching my colour of my coat to the colour of my shoes. Sounds really simple, but it really, really ties an outfit together and really makes it look like you've really tried and thought about your outfit. So easiest way to do this is keep the base layer simple. So I've gone for a black jumper with black trousers. The jumper I'm wearing here is from H&M. It's their mohair blend, really lovely quality. And then the trousers I'm wearing are from Zara. I've had them for a couple of years now, but they always have some online super similar. This kind of styling applies all year round. You can apply this to your summer outfits, your spring outfits. I love it in winter with like knitwear and big coats and chunky boots. So the camel coat that I'm wearing here is from Pretty Little Thing. Super affordable, 100% recommend having a camel coat in your wardrobe. And then I've just matched it with my chestnut ultra mini Uggs. They're almost identical in colour, so wearing them together over a black outfit just looks so, so lovely. I also really recommend with this kind of outfit that you wear a belt just to accentuate the waist, show a bit of shape. You don't want a big oversized jumper with wide leg trousers and then a big coat because you'll look like you're drowning. So make sure you pop a belt on the trousers. It ties it all together. And if you're not here for the camel coat or the Uggs, this outfit would also look super nice just as an all black outfit with a black coat, some black boots. Yeah, it's just a fail safe. I do this so much with my outfits. Go back on my Instagram, you'll notice so much the coat and the shoes match in colour. And it doesn't have to be camel, doesn't have to be black. You could do it khaki, cream. It just really brings the outfit together and I love doing it. So while I'm on this now, I wanted to show you the exact same outfit but with a different colour as the base layer. So here I've got the exact same coat and shoes on, but this time I've gone for a cream base layer. So the jumper that I'm wearing is from Zara. I adore this jumper so much. It's so affordable, so lovely, the perfect shade of cream, just so cute. And the cream trousers are also from Zara. I really, really love how cream and camel look. As you can see, it's still a wintry, warm outfit, but it just gives that nice, brighter look. It's a really good look for transitioning in from winter to spring, when it's still cold, but the sun's out. You wanna wear a lighter outfit, but still keep warm. This would be perfect. I just wanted to show you an example of how the same outfit can just have a completely different look just by mixing up the colours. With this outfit as well, you'll notice I also added in my little Fendi bag. Because the bag does have some brown in it, it goes really nicely with the camel and the cream. It's not as harsh as black and it just ties in all the colours. They're all sort of on the same spectrum, if that makes sense, but yeah. I love this outfit so much. Another outfit for you and something that I love to do with my outfits is to make them tonal. So what I mean by that is wearing one colour but wearing it in all different shades. So don't get yourself stuck down a rabbit hole trying to hyper fixate and make sure all of the items in your outfit are the exact same shade of grey, cream, camel. Wearing them in different shades really, really ties the outfit together. You don't want to look like you're wearing a three-piece suit. You want to look like you've thought about what you're wearing but kind of not cared at the same time. I love how this looks. It works for any colour, any season. It's just perfect. It's a fail-safe option for me. If I don't know what to wear, I'll wear a tonal outfit. So one of my favourite colours to do this with is grey. 
I don't know why, but different shades of grey all together just do something. They look so lovely. So in this outfit, I am wearing my dark grey jumper from Zara, but I've teamed it with my lighter grey wool blend coat from Mango. Now, as you can see, they're not the same shade of grey, but they just work so nicely layered on top of each other. I've also thrown on a grey beanie hat, which you don't need to do, but I think it looks really, really nice. You could even go one step further and throw in a bag of the same colour. Me, personally, I'm not keen on a grey handbag, so I played it safe with this one, and I just stuck to black, and then I threw on some white trainers with it. These are my New Balance 530s, a really, really good trainer if you're not familiar with New Balance. Personally, I think get a pair of 530s because they're super comfortable and they go with so many outfits. You'll see them a few times throughout this video because I just wear them to death. I love them so much. The beanie hat that I'm wearing here is also from Zara. Zara beanie hats are honestly one of the best for winter. So yeah, just have a look in your wardrobe. See what items you've got in the same colour in different shades and just have a little play and I guarantee you'll find a really, really good outfit. Okay, so for the next outfit, I wanted to show a little bit more of a smarter look using one of my favourite favorite things in my wardrobe and that is the white shirt. I honestly think everyone needs a really good fitting white crisp shirt in their wardrobe. So many ways to wear them. You can wear them all year round so I obviously had to include an outfit wearing this one. This one is actually a recent purchase from Arquette and as you can see here I have layered it underneath a jumper. It's actually the jumper that I'm wearing now also from Arquette but I just wanted to show the different sort of vibe that it gives an outfit by popping a jumper over the top of the shirt. On its own you're going to be freezing cold wearing a shirt and this jumper on its own as you can see it's very very casual but together it creates more of a workwear smarter look and I just love it because it's super comfortable but also just looks really really nice. It's a sort of outfit that looks great on every Everyone. I've literally just wore it here with some black leggings. These ones are from Pretty Little Thing. These are great because they literally suck everything in. They feel so nice to wear. And then I've just teamed it with some faux leather tall boots from Glamify Fashion. I've had these boots for a couple of years now, but I'm sure they're still online. If they're not, I can definitely find some similar to Link. And then I've also just popped on my H&M camel coat just to keep all those toads together. I love how this looks. This would look just as nice with a black coat as well, but I think the camel on camel just looks really, really nice. I've also just added my black coach bag just to match the boots and tie the whole look together. You could definitely add a beanie or a scarf or just some wintry accessories to this as well if it was really, really cold. But yeah, this outfit just on its own, lovely. With this next look, I wanted to show you a more casual way of layering in the winter doesn't always have to be over a white shirt. I know that can look quite formal and it's probably great if you work in an office, but not all of us do. So this is another way that I love layering my outfits. So starting off with a white bodysuit or t-shirt or long sleeve top, as long as it's white, I feel like this is the best color when it comes to this kind of layering. This one is from Zara. It's a long sleeved bodysuit. I love having these just in multiple colours for this kind of reason in winter. They look so great paired underneath knitwear where you can just see the tops of them poking through. They keep you warm, they look great. I just love this way of layering. So in this outfit, I've obviously got on my white bodysuit and then over the top, I have just popped on my grey cashmere jumper also from Zara. I promise this video isn't sponsored by Zara by the way but I wanted to keep everything really affordable and accessible so yeah a lot of my wardrobe is like Zara, H&M so yeah I hope that's okay but yeah I've just popped on my light grey cashmere jumper over the top. I've also paired this outfit with my straight leg jeans from H&M. For reference I'm five foot eight if you're wondering um, in reference to the jeans how tall I am. So with this look I've just added on a black coat. This is my double breasted long coat from Naked. Love it so much. I've also just popped on a beanie and then I've worn my good old New Balance 530s. These are them up close. I love them. I know they're a proper dad trainer, but that's why I love them. And also, I've said this so many times, but if you've not tried a pair of New Balance trainers, you need to try them purely for comfort. You'll never go back. I love mine so much. I want to get multiple pairs in different colours because I just reach for them all the time. They're so great. Another great item of clothing to lay with in the winter is a shacket or a blazer 
I love how these kind of layered outfits look. They just give a whole different vibe and a different dimension to it. So as you can see here, I've got a completely black base outfit on and then I'm wearing my trench coat. So I'm actually just wearing a plain black um, bodysuit. I believe it's from Zara. I've then got my black wide leg jeans on from Zara. I absolutely love them. I've said Zara so many times in this video. I actually have an issue, but oh well. And then the shacket that I'm wearing, it's a faux leather shacket. It's also from Zara. I have had it for a couple of years now, but they always seem to bring this back out every single year. I love it so much. So faux leather shacket, it's got pockets at the front. I've popped on a black beanie, also from Zara, which I thought I'd give you a quick close look at because look how nice and thick and lovely this is. And then I am wearing my Burberry trench coat over the top. This is honestly one of my best designer purchases ever. I actually picked it up from Vista Village for a fraction of the price that it should have been. And I've got so much wear out of it, I love it. But admittedly, a trench coat like this isn't always the warmest of coats when it's absolutely freezing cold outside. So doing this kind of technique with your outfits by layering them with shackets and blazers, you can see it gives a really nice sort of like thought out look but it will also keep you warm. So I don't think you have to shove your trench coat to the back of the wardrobe when it's absolutely bitterly cold. You can definitely still get your wear out of it. Just layers, always think layers. With this outfit, I have actually worn it with my black ankle boots, another Bista Village find. These ones were from Fendi. These were actually the original price of these boots. I've told this story so many times because I still can't get over it. The original price of these boots was 900 pound and they were marked as 400 at Bista Village. And then when I got to the counter to pay for them, the guy said, oh, these are actually half price today. And I said, oh, right, okay. And I thought that he meant they'd already been marked down as half price. So I just assumed there was still gonna be 400. So then he was like, oh, so that's 200 pound to pay. 200 pound for a pair of black Fendi ankle boots down from 900. Unreal, I'll forever tell that story and be amazed about my black ankle boots. This next outfit I really wanted to show because I recently uploaded this photo on Instagram and so many of you that follow me on there really really like this outfit so I wanted to include it in here and I feel like it's kind of typical of something that I do a lot of the time with outfits and that's bringing in the socks. Sometimes it's nice to have your socks on show and incorporate them into the outfit so as you can see here I am wearing just a plain black base layer. So I'm actually wearing the black jumper that I was wearing at the beginning of the video from h and I've then got my pretty little thing leggings on, the ones that suck you in. And then the blazer that I'm wearing, it's actually a grey houndstooth checked wool blend blazer. That was a mouthful from Mango. This is the blazer up close. I absolutely love it. And then as you can see here, I've matched it with my gray socks that are also on show. So I really recommend in winter getting yourself a few pairs of good quality socks. So these are the socks that I'm wearing. No, they're not. So these are the socks that I'm wearing in that outfit. And as you can see, I've got them in a few different colours. I've also got them in cream and I've also got them in beige. These are just cashmere socks from Amazon. They're about £30 for one pair. So they're not cheap, but that's what you pay for cashmere socks. You could definitely get some that aren't cashmere. I love wearing these because they're just super cosy, snuggly, and I just love cashmere socks. So I have invested in a few pairs of these because I wear them so much. I also really like wearing them underneath my riding boots when it's freezing cold and I'm out with the horses. They keep my feet so, so warm. So yeah, don't think that you have to cover your socks up. Bring them in as part of the outfit and it just adds a really cool kind of sporty vibe. So yeah, guys, get your socks out. Okay, guys, next outfit. This is definitely the kind of outfit that I would reach for on a regular basis in winter. And it's super simple. It's literally just an oversized jumper with leggings. But one thing I've made sure to do is to match everything together apart from the leggings. So the black leggings really pop and then everything else ties nicely. It's kind of like the tonal outfit, but just with a pop of black. So here you can see that I'm wearing 
this nude coloured jumper from H&M. If it's really cold, you could definitely layer this and maybe wear a white shirt underneath or a white bodysuit. That would look really, really nice. And then I've also teamed it with a nude coat also from H&M. That was a recent purchase, so I'll definitely link that. I believe it's still online, so I'll link it in the description box. And as you can see, the socks are out again in this one. These are my cream pair of cashmere socks. I love how these look. They literally go so well with all of like my nude kind of pieces in my wardrobe and then I've also popped on my ultra mini Uggs these are in a different color to the ones that I showed you at the start these are in the shade antelope the chestnut Uggs are much warmer in color and very sort of camel colored whereas the antelope colored Uggs are very much like this and very neutral and nude so I definitely get a lot of wear out of both of them but yeah you can just see the kind of look that they give to an outfit and then I've also popped on my cream beanie hat, obviously, from Zara. And because of the nude and black kind of vibe, I've just added in the Fendi bag, just because I thought it looked really, really nice with this outfit. But yeah, as you can see, guys, there's so many ways to wear socks in the winter. You don't need to cover them up. I just, I just love incorporating them into an outfit and making them part of the look. Just love it. Okay, guys, we're nearly coming to the end of the video now. So the last couple of outfits, I wanted to do a little bit more sort of trend-led kind of outfits. I feel like everything that I've shown you is very much very classic with pieces that you've probably all got in the wardrobe, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit just for the last two outfits, just two outfits that I actually wore recently and I just loved. So, yeah, I thought, let me show them to you now. So this outfit, oh, my God, I just love this so much. So here I'm wearing my faux leather trousers. These are old, these are from Zara and they're kind of like a flare leg, but as you can see here, I've tucked them into some boots. Now, oh my God, these boots. How beautiful are these black Western style boots? Now, Western boots have been in for the last couple of years really, and I've not really jumped on the trend, but this year I decided to treat myself to these black Western boots from ASOS. I think they're actually from Topshop from ASOS. Um, yeah, I just fell in love with these. I just love how they look with the leather trousers tucked in. I just love that vibe. I've also just wore my black oversized jumper from H&M with this. And then I've just stuck on like this faux fur. It's not faux fur actually, it's more like a faux, almost like a teddy kind of jacket. This is the jacket up close. It's so snuggly and warm, but I just love how it looks just thrown on and wore sort of really casually with the leather and the western boots it just gives that softer kind of edge to it i feel like if i was to wear a really harsh sort of black long coat with this look it just wouldn't have the same sort of vibe so yeah for a bit of fun i just threw this on over the top and i love how it looked i've also been really loving um, the trend of headbands coming back so as you can see here i'm wearing a black headband with this just to add a little bit of something, I didn't really fancy wearing a beanie with it and making it super wintry. I wanted to make it look a little bit more trendy. So yeah, I opted for the headband and overall, I just love this outfit so much. It's kind of giving rich, cool auntie vibes. I think this sort of big fluffy coat kind of does that to any outfit, but yeah. It's a good vibe. We're never going to complain about that kind of vibe. Okay, final outfit, guys. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will have definitely have seen me styling this outfit. But I just had to include it because I didn't realise how much I would love this denim shirt until I bought it. So if you watch my haul videos, you'll have seen in my most recent H&M haul, I bought this denim shirt and to be honest I bought it with the intention of wearing this as more of like a double denim look so I have the jeans in the exact same colour to match and I also have a skirt that it looks really really nice with but I just kind of want to show you a more casual way of dressing um, dressing down a denim shirt because I feel like it is that item that is probably in a lot of people's wardrobes maybe from years ago because they were definitely a thing a few years ago but I just wanted to show you um, another way to wear them so as you can see here I'm just wearing my black leggings with my black coat from Naked black beanie and then my chunky black boots these are the boots that I'm wearing I get so much wear out of these in winter if you don't own a pair of sort of like ankle length chunky boots 
they're just so great especially if you wear leggings a lot they just give a little bit more of an edgy kind of vibe when you're not in the mood to wear trainers they're also actually so good in like the rain and the snow and just the awful weather if you don't want to dirty up your nice white trainers chunky pair of black boots are just your best friend i really really love how these colors look together the blue against the black it just does something and you could definitely use the denim shirt as a layering piece, as I showed you earlier in the video. You could wear a black bodysuit on the bottom with the denim shirt over the top, open, and then a black coat. So yeah, it's not a one-trick pony. I love the denim shirt, and denim is just a huge trend this year, but I kind of wanted to show you a bit more of like a classic way of how to wear it. And that's it, guys. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to film more videos like this. I really enjoy these kind of styling videos and being able to talk through outfits and the kind of reasoning behind them because even if you don't have the exact items or similar items in my wardrobe, I think with the reasonings that I've given you, you can definitely shop your own wardrobe and pull out new outfits, maybe pair things together that you hadn't thought of before. But yeah, I just hope you found this video useful, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to film more videos like this. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that here. So as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.